Good afternoon to everybody and welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you the last experiment I did yesterday and today. Um, after uh, I saw I resolved some troubles about uh, serial port in uh, Debian A Jesse for my Orange Pi Plus 2, I'm now able to um, exchange data between Windows 7 and um, Orange Pi with Debian. Practically, uh, I detect my COM port 5 over the um, USB <coughs> in Windows 7 and I use this converter FTL 232 Watt to TTL 3.3 volts. Don't forget Orange Pi work at 3.3 volts and not 5 because you <coughs> if you use 5 volts you can damage it. You, you, can damage the orange pie and uh, I use three wires to connect the serial port of orange pie you can see here my orange pie to the pins PA13 and PA14 and ground RX and TX just three wires connected to the converter in this way I have the physical connection between uh, two systems the orange pie and my PC Windows 7 I want to um, remember I I wrote some posts, some blogs inside the um, Orange Pi official forum blog how to install JDK Java, how to install NetBeans and how to solve the problem for the SO files, shared object files inside the Debian system. Now I start my VNC viewer, as you can see here, I connect my Windows 7 to the Orange Pi by using the VNC viewer. In the, in the Orange Pi side you have to start VNC viewer from the terminal by typing type VNC viewer, but this is also explained in another tutorial. The program I want to run now in the or this is Orange Pi, practically, you see, Orange Pi. The program I want to run in Orange Pi, Orange Pi is very easy to understand. Is uh, The name is Two Way Serial Com. You can find it uh, by typing um, this name in google.com and you will find very easy. This program practically use the library we mentioned it in the other videos rxdx.com. This is the Java jar library to connect with the um, Word port. In this case, I use the Word free, so the dev slash tty as free. You can see here the setting of the port in Debian. This application uh, starts um, to declare an object serial port. After that here there is a setting up of the parameters must be the same also in uh, Windows side and two streams input streams and output stream they are binded with the serial port by getting the object, get input stream and get output stream. After that, st here starts two thread. This application is multi-threading. It means that simultaneously you can send and write independently. There are two threads. Here you can see the class serial reader and serial writer that implements the interface runnable. When you implement the interface you um, have to overwrite this public run method. Inside this method you write your code. Practically we have two thread and we, ha we have two method of run and independently each one runs. This one runs to check if there is there, is, there are some data incoming 
over the serial, another one, write. What is writing here? Okay? And now start, clean and build. You can see also here on the converter card, there are two micro LED, one for transmission, another one for receiving. And we can check also here when we try to send and receive something. Here we have compiled without any problem and then, and then now I run the, the project. Now the threads, the two threads are uh, waiting for something on the serial and something here to send. In Windows side I have installed the Visual Studio 2015 is a free tool you can download without any problem and I modify some program and merge in one in a new one to make this job practically also here there are delegate and trading because the first thread is the application itself and the second thread is starting when uh, here for example you start the new delegate and you bind this function to receive practically there is a thread sli dot slip to wait 200 milliseconds and let the other thread to finish its job here there are some setting important is receive bytes threshold because when uh, practically Orange Pi send data, um, the desktop PC receive all of them and buffering inside the buffer. They store inside the buffer and when the, the quantity, the number of the bytes is more or less 5, I have these events. Okay, and this event wait 200 milliseconds and then I have data here. Let's start better than, than talk. Practically here I send something to Orange Pi and here I receive. Here is Orange Pi site, right? For example, hello from Walter, my name. Check the LID now blinking TX and RX. You see now? Take a look. You see? I receive here in my orange pie this string, hello from Walter. I can write again. This is a test. And send. Wait a moment. And send. This is a test. Okay, now I have to put something, for example, return carriage, but it doesn't matter. Clear, clear. This is a test. Okay, from Windows to Orange Pi. Now I want to write back. Here is Orange Pi. And I write by pushing Enter, I write to Windows. Okay? Let's, let's take a look uh, to the LED. Okay, this is a test. Here is Orange Pie. You see, I write this. Here is Orange Pie. And here I receive. A new one. Carol, dog, is there, my, my dog now is there, look, is sleeping, Carol, you see, <laughs> now he's sleeping, my dog, I'm working and studying, but my dog is sleeping, very nice, I send, you see, Carol dog, sleeping, And back. You see? 
Okay, I hope to um, to explain something about if you are interested to develop something over serial port because we have um, um, embedded system and I hope to understand fast what's happened with GPIO, SPI, I2C, serial and Wi-Fi socket server because I would like to have uh, to make a port porting my system now is working with uh, Android device in Android and then also Arduino Duo is the master and the controller I want to make a porting and transfer all the code C++ into Orange Pi maybe C++ or Java because I prefer this new platform instead of Arduino Duo because there is an um, operating system and there are a lot of services and programs already done to be used Okay, see you next video.